Hello, Ollie with Free Your Zen once again. Nice to make a video again, nice to see you. So in today's video I'm talking about how to experience the awe and mystery and wonder of life again. So how do we lose this sense of amazement and excitement with life? How do we lose that in the first place? Pretty simple really, think about it. Children. When you're a child, you are completely awestruck by everything. Everything is a complete and utter mystery because you don't know it, it's all new, or you don't think you know it at least. But what happens is, as you start to ask more questions and start to become educated, you start to apply labels on all these things, right? Trees, clouds, birds, etc. We start to apply labels to all these things and think that we know it, think that we know. We're told by everyone else that if you can apply a label to something, you instantly, you know what it is and that's it. A bird, oh, that's a bird. We know facts about the bird. We know um, all these things. We know where it comes from, etc. We know it's, it's gesta gestation periods and all that jazz. But all we know ever is facts about the, the bird itself. But the experience in and of itself is completely, in, a, in, a, in its essence, is unknowable to us. In Zen Buddhism, they talk about how the finger pointing to the moon is not the moon, you know? So... If you fo uh, focus on the finger, which in this context means just the word or the label, you'll miss the moon. So whenever we describe something or we apply a label to something in our experience, it's just a signpost. We don't actually know what the hell anything truly is in its essence. We know facts and details and we can observe certain patterns in nature about said objects and said things, but we don't know what the hell they, those things are in their essence. Now, there's a, uh, a phrase, there's kind of a koan in Zen Buddhism that goes as follows. Simple as this, kind of a play on words, isn't it? Water is not water. So, a bit of a, a, bit of a word play, but if you think about that, that's one of the koans that really kind of woke me up to this reality. Water is not water. How could it be? Water, the experience that is completely indescribable, is not able to be communicated through me just saying water, because water is just a noise I make or some squiggles on paper if I choose to write it down. So this is essentially what happens. The more we go through life, there's a wasp about to come into my room. It's on its way in. That, is that wasp gonna leave? That wasp left. <laughs> so essentially, that's what happens. Are you with me? Does that make sense? So as you go through life, you start taking the reality to be all these labels and concepts that you apply to it to communicate to other people. Now, it doesn't mean that labels and concepts and stuff aren't useful. They're very useful as a, uh, as a tool for social interaction, you know. So if we need to point to something in the distance that's going off, we need labels to describe it to our fellow man so we can deal with it or whatever, or we can communicate it to other people. But as you meditate, as you sit and do nothing, as you watch the, your experience, you begin to actually understand that the reality is that all of this is completely indescribable. All of this, you don't know. All these labels that you apply to it, they're just noises you make with your mouth. They, they, don't, they don't communicate even the slightest essence of what these things actually are and what life actually is. And when you think that you have, under, you understand it and you think you've got it, you haven't got it, you will never get it. And if that isn't amazing, if that doesn't fill you with awe and mystery and a sense of, ooh, whew, you know, then I don't know what will. So uh, that is, uh, that's the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like that video, click the thumbs up. Thumb, thumb, for thumb, for thumb, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, check out my Facebook and my Instagram, and uh, check out my future videos, guys. Peace, presence, and inner power. Inner power to you. Bye.